And now you have one of the so-called leading comedians in the Froom world celebrates with a bunch of a bunch of LGBTQ friends of his Shabbat on video. He uh, does Kiddush for all of his boyfriends. You see, I don't know, 30, 40 guys pretending to be girls. And he's doing Kiddush with them. He's saying a bracha. And his husband is wearing a bra. And this Chamor, Modi, his name is, Shem Rashaim Yerkav, he says, this is Mashiach energy. This is Mashiach energy. It's Kafakela energy. Seven chamber of Gehenom energy. Toivat Hashem energy. Goan Nefesh energy. Everything but not Mashiach energy. Why? Because the Mashiach, Mashiach Tzidkenu, it says, Uba Lezion Goel, Eshave Pesha Beyakov. Maze Uba Lezion Goel, Eshave Pesha. What, is this? what does that mean? We say it in our prayer. Ubalet Zion Goel. The Goel, the Mashiach, is coming. Where is he coming? Where is he coming? Leshave Pesha Yaakov To go and save all of the people that used to be Poshaim. All the people that used to be Reshaim. All the people that used to be Mechale Shabbat. LGBTQ. All the people that are praying the wrong role. He's, they used to be, they did tshuva, he's going to save them. But if you're still a poshia, if you're still a criminal, he's not going to save you. But rather, beruach piv yamit rasha. But on those people it says, the Mashiach, with the words, with the air that comes out of his mouth, he'll kill the wicked. But that's what happens in society. A small broken chain. He and she have the same role in life. Same obligation. Two generations later, they've exchanged. He is a she. She is a he. Everything is a it. So, while people don't think it's a big deal, they don't realize that the root of all of the evil that's in the world today started with what seems to be innocent innocent steps that are perhaps not the tradition, but they're not so far away. The road to Gehenom is full of innocent steps. That's where we have Chachamim. They tell us right, they tell us left. Even if what they say is clearly wrong to us, the Torah Tosha tells us you still do it. They tell you left. When you know it's right, you still go left. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu will make whatever they say right just because they're his representatives. But when you decide you know better than the Chachamim, You've gone against the Shem, you've gone against the Chachamim, you've gone against the Torah, you've gone against everything, and you don't think it's a big deal. It's a small little broken link. Once it's a broken link, you need, you know how many schuyot you need to fix it? But this Rasha, he's invited, this Modi guy, he's invited to Yeshivot, to Shabbatons, to be at Orthodox synagogues, uh, modern Orthodox synagogues, I don't know, all types of things. And he's not private about it. He talks about it every day. He's proud about this thing, that he's married to a guy. And he's, he's, not, like, he's not one of these people that's in the closet. Like when I was a kid, when you had a spiritual deformity, you hid it. He's proud. Proud as can be. As if it's normal. You're not normal for, for looking at me that way, for thinking it's not normal. Why? Because he says, Mashiach energy. Mashiach energy. Genom energy is not even enough to punish these people. But it's not even his fault. It's not solely his fault. Why? The chain broke before him. And all of those people 
that invite him to the synagogues, they invite him to the yeshivot, that invite him to the, the Shabbatons, all of the people that attend the show, Jews and Gentiles, they're all going to take a piece of the punishment. Every single one of them with no exception. Why? When somebody publicly desecrates the name of a Kadosh Baruch Hu and says what's allowed is, a, is, is not allowed and what's not allowed is allowed. You publicize something that's against the Kadosh Baruch Hu with such zeal, with such pride, every single person that's involved in it will get punished to no end. Oh, I didn't know. It was your job to know. It was your job to know. But that's what's happening. So this question may seem like a, eh, what's the big deal? But you see, it all starts. It all starts with a small little broken link. And it develops to something much, much bigger. In the Jewish religion, there's no such thing as no big deal. As you saw, somebody that was perhaps the next, next door neighbor to Avraham Avinu. Next door neighbor to Avraham Avinu. He sees Avraham Avinu cutting his foreskin, doing Brit Milah. What does he think? He thinks Avraham Avinu is sick in the head. He thinks Avraham Avinu, something's wrong with him. He doesn't think Avraham Avinu is tzaddik. He doesn't think Avraham Avinu is kadosh. He thinks Avraham Avinu is something wrong with him. That's what he thinks. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Then he starts seeing Avraham Avinu do it to all the people. All of his slaves. Anybody who was in his house had to do it. Does it to his 13-year-old son, Ishmael. What are you doing? You're abusive. You're abusing people. What's wrong with you? That's what he thinks. Why? Because he's looking at it from his perspective. He's not looking at it from a Torah perspective. He's looking from his perspective. When you look at things from your perspective, you're bound to be wrong. When you look at things from a Torah perspective... You have God telling you what to do. It doesn't, it doesn't get more right than that. But when you go and take God's words and manipulate them to fit your own agenda, there's nothing worse than that. You're worse than even the guy that thought that Abraham Avinu was crazy. At least he has an excuse. He simply doesn't know anything. He's looking at it from a logical perspective. But when you went into the book of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and you said, ah, there's 613 commandments, so what if you violate one? So what? So what if you take Hashem's name and you throw it? So what? There's nothing worse in the world. Nothing worse than that. And every single person that's involved in it, Jew, Gentile, it could be a dog that's involved in publicizing things that are against the Kadosh Baruch Hu, there will be no end to their suffering. Genom will end, and their suffering will not. And there's no mercy on such people. The only mercy that exists is when I say harsh words like this, hopefully, hopefully, it's enough to wake up their sleeping soul and make them realize, I have to change. Soft doesn't work.